Easter from the Beach Bum Cats and all of us at the Beach Bum Trading family. So happy Easter. Thank you for joining us on uh, Easter Sunday for part two of our weekly trading game plan this week. Good morning again, The Crow, Born to be Free, Walter Lyons. Thank you all for joining us in the chat today. Hope you're having a wonderful Easter. So here's our Google document with our notes for part two of our weekly trading game plan for April 1st through April 5th. We keep our notes for our weekly trading game plans in publicly accessible Google documents. Our notes documents contain links to bonus video, the tools and resources we use to trade our top swing trading stocks to watch. If you haven't already seen part one of our weekly trading game plan for this week titled Make Money Trading in April 2024, we would highly recommend you also view part one as that contains our market analysis, our trading strategies, and trade ideas for this trading week. We keep all of our uh, weekly trading game plan notes Google documents in a publicly accessible Google Drive folder so you can refer back to the notes for part one as well as previous weeks and you can find direct links to this publicly accessible Google Drive folder and the description box below as well as to the notes for this week. Welcome Easy Mike, thank you for joining us. Hope you're having a wonderful Easter as well. So let's get started. So we don't have any changes in positions this week. Just a quick reminder, if you'd like to get notified when we enter exit a trade, you can get real-time alerts uh, via email through our Patreon. Uh, we'll post through our Patreon as soon as we enter exit a trade. We also have several channels in our Discord of, uh, accessible to our Patreons. Uh, the first is a Thinkorswim uh, alerts channel where I have price alerts set up in uh, Thinkorswim. If those get triggered, then they get automatically posted to uh, the Thinkorswim channel in our Discord. If I follow that up with a trade or if we get stopped out based on one of those alerts, then I'll follow that up in the Thinkorswim alerts channel. If it's a trade not directly related to a Thinkorswim price alert, then we post that in the Trade Alerts channel. We also have an additional real-time alerts channel where you can get alerted when stocks are moving up, breaking out, and you can hear how that uh, alert channel works via the link to the bonus video in our notes. And that uh, additional real-time alerts channel is available to our All Access and VIP Patreon, so you can see if a uh, stock is moving up, breaking out near a target buy price, so we can see when GDXD is uh, near its uh, low, 52-week low. We both got a uh, think or swim price alert when that hit its 52-week low, and our automated system was already identifying that as near our buy price, near the 52-week low. And we'll see, based on those alerts and the futures we saw in gold, the exuberant run in gold, uh, we'll be watching GDXD for an opportunity. You can also see the Europe EPV breaking out. So again, uh, it would help you make money trading, help you in your trading career to get uh, real-time alerts when stocks are moving up, breaking out near our target uh, buy price. You can get that information in our alerts channel uh, by joining our Patreon. We'd also love to hear your feedback on what else you would like to see in these alerts channels, what other type of real-time alerts. Uh, would help you make money trading, help you succeed in your trading career, uh, please let us know. Welcome, Sydney Osborne. Thank you for joining us. Hope you're having a wonderful Easter. Gerald Fitz, Balu Dog, thank you all for joining us. So now we'll go over our watch list updates for our top swing trading stocks to watch uh, for this week. I'll quickly go through the updates. And then we'll look at the charts in our uh, Google Watchlist Google Sheet and also in Weeble. So the first one I want to spend a little bit of time on. Uh, we talked about this, I think I added it last week or so, is AEHR, AEHR Test Systems. This was a semiconductor system. They do uh, testing equipment on semiconductors. And we had... Uh, previously done a quick take uh, due diligence on AEHR, which you can 
a view via the bonus link to that video in the notes. And subsequently, uh, I saw a precipitous drop in AEHR, and so I wondered what was causing that drop. And I found out that they announced preliminary financial results for their 2024 third quarter and updated their guidance, and it was poor. And I think there's some uh, things to note, some trends to note in this link, and you can uh, access that via um, the link in the notes. Also notably, um, their next earnings report is the 9th, so they're pre-announcing their earnings uh, that they're going to come out on the 9th. So we're taking them out of the watch list based on uh, this negative uh, pre-release of their earnings. Let's see if I can zoom that up a little bit. Um, some of the notable things that I think uh, could impact other trades is they noted a weakness in electric vehicles. Uh, so they're in semiconductors uh, used in electric vehicles. So delays in orders for those shipments. And they expect this to push out uh, their backlog. Also, they noted a, a glut in um, semiconductors, a glut in inventory driving down near-term orders to those companies in automotive, so EV semiconductors going into automotive and EVs uh, currently have a glut and therefore uh, they're going to have to work through that inventory. So shift in revenues out of third and fourth quarters until uh, their glut has been uh, worked out. So again, not just uh, see the overall softness in semiconductors, shift in electric vehicles. So outside of the AI sector, uh, the semiconductor um, industry is actually a bit weak. So uh, yeah, other than machine learning, artificial intelligence processors and communications chips, memory market. So again, uh, Outside of those areas, the semiconductor uh, industry is a bit weak, so I wanted to point that out as that may impact other semiconductor stocks uh, not directly related to uh, that AI uh, segment. So again, uh, we're taking AEHR um, out of our watch list. Uh, we'll have to wait till uh, they actually announce their earnings. And again, they expected this uh, to continue for a couple quarters. So uh, again, uh, I can't see uh, pursuing AEHR anytime in the near future until those uh, issues are resolved. So um, otherwise, again, we like the company in general, but again, they need to work through those issues. And again, with EVs being uh, now significantly out of favor and uh, the identified glut in uh, those types of semiconductors, any semiconductor stock in those areas, I would uh, watch out for. So I hope that helps. Uh, we talked about boil. Boil is long on natural gas. We've been watching it, watching for a retest of that bottom in natural gas. We saw in the futures, natural gas running around 170 or so. It's been, you know, just pretty flat recently. Uh, resistance at two, support at 152. If we do get a retest of that bottom, uh, we might try a scalp or an additional swing in natural gas using boil. Uh, we're already long FAZ. FAZ is the short on the financial sector. FAS is the long. You can hear our thesis on how to use these uh, ETFs to trade the financial sector. Again, the financial sector continues to run up. So I think, you know, if you're not already long FAZ, there may be an opportunity uh, there. When that does uh, roll over, we get a sector rotation back out of financials. We just talked about GDXD as the short on gold. Again, yesterday we saw the big run up in the futures in gold, gold spot price. You can hear our analysis on the various um, ETFs you can use to short gold. We looked at them yesterday as well. So you've got GDXD, Dust, DZZ, GLL, and you can again uh, see the risk reward profile of those in near real time in our ETF Google Sheet. So if we do get that uh, correction in gold, uh, we're looking at GDXD uh, as an opportunity, a short-term uh, opportunity uh, to short gold using GDXD. 
Another semiconductor stock we've been watching is HIMX. Now, something to note, and you can hear this in our previous due diligence on HIMX via the, the bonus link in the notes, is they're not really related to uh, autos, those types of semiconductors. Uh, they do things in uh, video displays, etc. Uh, so they're not directly related to AI. They're more um, mobile phones and video displays, etc. But they're also not um, sensitive to the the glut in the other uh, like automotive EV type uh, semiconductors as much. So we'll see if we can get a dip in HIMX. That might be a semiconductor that hasn't uh, run overly. That there might be a swing opportunity in. MP materials we've been watching, trying to catch a, a bounce in. Uh, it tends to bounce pretty quickly, so I haven't had a lot of luck with catching those bottoms, but we'll see if we can get a shot at MP. Again, you can hear our previous due diligence on MP materials via the link to that bit, uh, video in the notes and also on our Beach Bump Trading channel. Uh, we're going to take TECS out of our watch list per se. We're already long TECS. TECS is the short on the broad technology uh, sector. We saw yesterday, again, uh, it's been, been pretty flat, just kind of choppy uh, at this point. But again, short-term trading, you can trade uh, technology long, TECL, short TECS. And again, you can hear how we use those to trade technology via the link to that video in our notes or on our channel. going to take wheat out as well. Yesterday, again, we saw wheat bounced up, corn bounced up, etc. So uh, when that comes back down, then, you know, we can always trade wheat long using WAT. So again, now we have our watch list, our bullpen stocks, etc. all in a Google sheet. And we'll bring that up and you can get access to this Google sheet. Uh, by joining our Patreon at any level. And again, we'll, uh, you can see how you can use this Google Sheet to watch our top swing trading stocks to watch via the links to those bonus videos. So you can see here's uh, in our Google Sheet, we also have our target prices, buy and sell prices. So you get the risk reward profile. Again, uh, the pricing, the white columns are updated from Google Finance functions. So about a 20 minute delay. But again, you can see how close they are at the current buy price, where they're moving up or down. Also, when their next earnings date is, uh, their ex-dividend dates, optionality, etc. So this is what I use, you know, to watch our uh, top swing trading stocks to watch watch list uh, in real time during the day. And then if we look at the charts in Weeble real quickly. So again, here's Boyle, the long on natural gas. Again, it's a leveraged long, so it's going to decay. So uh, we, again, are watching for the bottom in natural gas using the futures uh, contract in uh, Thinkorswim, which is um, slash NG in uh, Thinkorswim. And when that bottoms around 152 would be our entry trigger uh, for Boyle. Similarly, FAS is the long and financial sector. You see, you know, how high that's run up recently. And the short is FAZ. Again, we're already long FAZ at a little bit of a higher price. So we're just waiting for that correction. But when you see that rollover in financials, again, there might be an opportunity there. GDXD, again, the short on gold. So you can see it made a a new low recently. We saw the alerts get triggered in our Discord. So again, we're just waiting for a swing back up, which would be a correction in gold. But again, this lags the spot price in gold. So again, we're watching this. Uh, the long is GDXU, so you can watch for a top rollover in GDXU, bottom swing back up in GDXD.
HIMX. Again, this is HIMAX. This is the semiconductor. Um, I've been watching it pretty closely. About 527 seems to be a support level in um, the level two. So 527, 522. Uh, you can see it had run up and then uh, cycle back down. So we'll see if we can catch that. It looks like it's got it, you know, getting a multi, uh, multi bottom here. So that looks pretty good. And MP materials, again, you can see it bounces pretty quickly. So it hit that 1272, bounced, uh, ran up a little bit. We'll see if we can get a rollover and catch that uh, somewhere below 13 uh, would probably be good. Again, uh, sentiment's been relatively negative, but we see you know how quickly that bounced from that 1268 and then to 1272. It didn't come back down to that 1268 level. Okay, let me grab a quick drink and we'll talk about our bullpen stocks. Okay, if you're new to our community, the concept of our bullpen stocks are not ones that have uh, the top swing trading stocks to watch um, setup that we would like, but they may present such a setup in the near future. So we put them in the bullpen, revisit them periodically. Now I can watch them in our uh, watch list Google Sheet, so I can watch them more frequently. But if their setup improves and we put them in the game, move them up to our top swing trading stocks to watch watch list. So I'll go through the list real quickly and then we'll look at them in our Google Sheet and uh, in Weeble. The first is CRT, Cross Timbers Royalty Trust. And we did a quick take uh, due diligence on them a couple weeks ago. And you can hear that via the link to that bonus video in the notes. Uh, this is also a monthly dividend payer, so it's of interest in terms of a monthly dividend payer. Again, it's an oil and gas uh, company. Again, pays a monthly dividend, so we'll also look at that in the dividend payers uh, Google Sheet. We talked about yesterday um, shorting the Europe's, Euro stocks index which has also run up quite a bit looks like it may have topped out so we're watching for a top in eurl which is the leverage long on the euro stocks and looking for a opportunity again to short again we saw the risk reward profile of these uh, weren't that great but for a short-term correction in the euro stocks similarly got a couple uh, for trading the correlation between the nikkei or the inverse correlation between the Nikkei and the Yen. So we saw also the Nikkei's been running up. It did correct briefly, might retest its top. If so, we're looking at EWV to short the Nikkei and or YCL to long the, the Yen. So again, we saw the Yen uh, was near its bottom. We also talked about the Bank of Japan may uh, step in and uh, support the Yen. So that would be a catalyst for a long in YCL. And we're comparing the risk reward profiles of those two to uh, in our ETF Google Sheet to decide which one uh, and or both if we want to get into both of those. So uh, here's the resistance point in Easy J, which is the leverage um, long on the uh, Nikkei. So you can see the recent 52 high was 4502. If you want to watch this and think or swim, they have a futures uh, symbol slash NKD. So you can watch that. And its high is about uh, 4960. So I've got some price alerts set on those. If they get triggered, then that would be our entry point into uh, EWV. Again, we can watch this in our ETFs Google Sheet. 
and you can hear how we use these to trade the Nikkei uh, via that link to our previous uh, re previously released video. Also find that on our channel. So again, nowadays we can wa also watch these bullpen stocks in the bullpen sheet you know, of our watch list Google sheet. So again, you can see the price target, uh, risk reward profiles, uh, earnings, ex-dividend dates, etc. So we see the last, or the, yeah, the ex-dividend date on CRT just passed at 327. So again, we can compare the risk reward profiles of uh, YCL to um, EWV. So right now, again, YCL is much more attractive, uh, but longer term, 52 week. Uh, EWV is a little bit more attractive. And again, we've got quick links to the charts in FinBiz, so you can very quickly hop over to those charts in FinBiz. We look at those charts in Weeble, and I can flip over to our bullpen watch list. So we see uh, CRT had a precipitous drop recently. They cut their dividend. Um, had some we talked about last week they had some um, excess expense charges so we got that nice precipitous drop we're just looking for it to stabilize uh, it looks like it got rejected off that pivot point so again we're looking for it to find a new bottom stabilize at a bottom um, and that well, again looks attractive for longer term we can collect the monthly dividend and wait for it to recover as again those expense charges uh, were noted um, to be you know um, you know one time or or not reoccurring expense charges so you know we saw the run up in the euro stocks market it looks like it's bouncing right along that persistence point so if we get a rollover in the euro stock market and we can short that with EWV. Oh, actually, EPV is the short on the uh, European stock market. There's the long on the Nikkei. So again, it made a top, got rejected. Another thing to note on both the, both the long and short of the Nikkei, you see how sparsely traded they are. Um, so it's very choppy, very sparsely traded. It only tra trades, you know, a couple times a day, it looks like. Uh, so again, pretty illiquid. So uh, be careful. You, you can see we get gap ups, gap downs, you know, at different times. So that might be a challenge uh, for trading either EZJ or YCL. Again, YCL, you can see how it's just kind of bottoming at that 2328. Um, so Again, not not very responsive, but uh, if the yen does bottom, we could sit on and hold that, wait for the the uh, swing back up in the yen. Okay, I don't have any honorable mention stocks for this week. Grab a quick drink, and we'll talk a little bit about our shopping list and also um, some additions to our biotech due diligence Google Sheet. Okay, again, if you're relatively new to our community, the concept of the shopping list is we always recommend you have your list of stocks that you want to buy, given uh, the opportunity, be it an irrational reaction to earnings or um, correction in the stock market, you have your list ready, and uh, the stocks you wanted to buy, we just recommend, you know, you stay away from zombie stocks, zombie companies, zombie ETFs. And you can hear what those mean via the links to uh, the videos uh, in our notes. We're also on our Beach Bum Trading channel. 
Again, uh, just a reminder, none of our content should be considered financial advice. We're not financial advisors. All of our content is for education and hopefully a little entertainment value uh, as well. Um, we've developed also this biotech due diligence Google Sheet, which you can also use to calculate the uh, quarter's cash flow positive on any money losing stock, which, you know, most biotechs are money losing stocks. So we've done a series of videos on biotech stocks in the past, and we'll probably come back and, and do, use this again, um, both for biotechs and uh, other money losing companies, but I just wanted to point out um, an enhancement to this Google Sheet that I added this week. And also just a quick reminder, you can also get access to this biotech due diligence Google Sheet. And if you want to make a copy for yourself, you can do so and then use that again to calculate the quarter's cash flow positive for biotechs or any money losing stock. And I added a resource a resources sheet um, that we had reviewed previously in our very first video on how to trade biotech stocks for beginners, which again, you can review that video and all, all the other videos in that series um, in our Beach Bum Trading channel. So I put all those links to those resources, the FDA calendar, tracker, et cetera, clinicaltrials.gov, um, all on a resources sheet on our biotech due diligence sheet. So you can quickly access those uh, resources. And again, if you want to see uh, the start of how to use those resources, again, you can see our video on how to trade biotech stocks for beginners. Also, we have a um, link to all those videos in the video sheet um, of that Google Sheet. So again, you can go through that series of videos. You can see we talked about catalysts, risks, et cetera, for biotech stocks. So I hope that all helps. Again, I'd like to hear uh, your feedback on what else you would like to see in that biotech due diligence Google Sheet. Um, and or other types of um, due diligence Google Sheets, other types of metrics you'd like to see. We've got the quarter's cash flow positive. I was wondering if it would help you if uh, we did similarly with like an Altman Z score or a Graham number. Um, let me know in the comments in the Discord you know, other metrics that would help you trade uh, biotechs and or, again, other money loser um, type stocks. So. Okay, next we'll go ahead and we'll look at um, dividend paying stocks. So if you have a particular dividend payer that you would like to look at, uh, please throw that up in the chat. We can take a look at any uh, dividend payers you would like to look at. Again, we use our dividend payers. You can use this to create a schedule of income schedule of various dividend payers, be they monthly, quarterly, et cetera, with the risk reward profile, uh, the categories, um, the time frame that you would like. And uh, again, you can get access to this um, dividend payers Google Sheet by joining our Patreon at the all access or VIP level. So again, you can use this to construct your own uh, schedule for dividend payers while you wait for uh, your swing trading stocks uh, or whatever other stocks you like to trade to set up appropriately. I don't have any changes again to this. Again, we've got a whole series of videos on how to find the best dividend paying stocks, how you can use this Google Sheet. So a couple that we're currently um, holding, we're currently holding APLY, which is the yield max on uh, Apple. We also have the yield max on Tesla, TSLY. Just a quick reminder, in the references sheet, you can find the link to the distribution schedule for the yield maxes. So all the various yield max dividend payers, again, the next uh, dividend, ex-dividend dates, 
is the fourth. So uh, anyone that's interested in uh, any of the yield maxes, the X dividend, next X dividend date is the fourth. You can you know access their list of all the growing list of yield maxes uh, also directly via that link. So many of these we have in either the main sheet of our dividend payers or also in the ad sheet. We have a number of the yield maxes. Just a note as if we see a you know strong rotation out of any of those mag sevens. Um, or the mega cap techs, we're taking a look at the yield maxes uh, for a good opportunity to collect dividends on those uh, magnificent seven or mega cap techs. As again, in my humble opinion, I expect them to kind of be mostly flat, um, but with a lot of rotation in and out of the mag seven um, for some time being. So we've got APLY, TSLY. One I've been watching a little bit is the CLM. This is a closed end fund. It's popped up a couple times. It's looking attractive. Uh, so I am keeping an eye on that. It's you know got a, a decent yield. So we'll keep an eye on that. We talked about cross timbers. So CRT, here's the yield information on cross timbers. So again, it uh, has not performed well uh, recently but it's got a decent price appreciation and a nominal yield of uh, 12%. So again, we saw that recent plummet. So there, therefore, the net yield's negative. So you can see it pays, you know, pretty, pretty small dividend right now, monthly. But again, we would look for a recovery swing back up uh, to get that uh, 16%, you know, risk reward. So you can see it's, a, you know, about a double. Uh, to, from 52 week low to high right now. Just checking the chat again. If I missed your um, ticker that you want to look at uh, in terms of dividend payers, here's the dividend information on Hershey. Again, their big holidays now pass. Cocoa prices have been skyrocketed. Uh, we heard people are cutting back because of the, the prices. There's IEF and I, IEI, some bond funds. Again, pretty stable. You can see their risk reward profile. We're still long land. Land is a monthly dividend payer on farmland. So it's a little depressed right now. It's uh, had looks like it might be swinging back up. It's got a small dividend, but decent price appreciation. So again, we're looking more for the price appreciation. Uh, LAG is losing money. MTEX is losing money. OARC is another... Uh, Yield max on Art K and BDY is the yield max on NVIDIA. So you can see the risk reward profiles of those. I'm watching Pfizer. We talked about Pfizer a couple weeks ago. It looks like, you know, if we get a, a little bit dip in Pfizer, it does pay a decent quarterly dividend. But again, it, we're looking at it for either a swing trade or possibly to sell uh, puts against and or both. So. Pfizer is starting to look interesting. You'll see we have it on our shopping list as well. So again, we're currently long TSLY. So that's the yield max on Tesla. So you can see the risk reward profile for that. And not a whole a lot uh, has popped up else else as being interesting uh, from dividend payers. But again, we re revisit this uh, end of each day, see if there's any new dividend payers uh, that we might want to buy a stake in, hold, uh, so we can collect some dividends while we wait for other swing trades to set up appropriately. Welcome, Tony Roses. Thank you for joining us. Hope you're doing well. So if anyone else has another dividend payer you want to look at uh, and I missed it, uh, put it back up in the chat or um, also in our in the comments uh, to this video or in our Discord, 
and we can follow up from there. Okay, let me grab a drink. We'll talk about our option strategies real quickly. So thank you for that, Tony. Yes, we'd appreciate it if you'd smash the like button. Help us try to get some love out of the YouTube algorithm. Thank you for your support. Okay, so in addition to dividend payers, other strategies we use to generate income is using options. We sell covered calls against our positions when they're going up, buy them back when they're going down. We sell puts, cash secured puts when stocks are going down, buy them back when they're going up. And you can see our criteria in the notes. We also have a whole series of videos on how you can use our option strategies to uh, make money with puts and also other um, option strategies, covered calls, etc. So, and you can get access to our puts ROIC Google Sheet, which we use to identify opportunities for selling and buying back puts by joining our Patreon. Again, I don't have any changes to this, so we'll just go through it very quickly. Again, the white columns are Google Finance functions. The gray func uh, columns are collected by our automated systems, updated at the end of each day. So you can see our watch list of primary uh, puts we're looking at. Um, there isn't anything with an ROIC of over 5%, so 5% is kind of our threshold since we're still making over 5% on our idle cash and our brokerage account. Uh, so why take a further risk if you're not getting a higher ROIC? Again, the research tab is additional um, puts that we can research, see if any of them uh, have a ROIC of, you know, it's more attractive. So as you can see, really nothing. The VIX is still, you know, 13. So there isn't a whole lot of um, attractive volatility uh, right now. I still do have this sellout on UAL for uh, January 2025. Uh, but again, it's uh, right now, it's ROIC is pretty low. I've got a price near the 52-week high to, you know, possibly a dip on uh, United Airlines. But Again, if you'd like us to do research on any puts, um, plug them into our research sheet, and then we can have our automated systems collect the data. And then, again, that will update uh, as um, prices in the stocks, as the stocks move up. And then if they're moving down, it shows green. It says sell a put, uh, red, moving back up, buy back a put. And again, we're looking for additional option strategies, but low risk option strategies uh, that can be executed in a retirement account. So if anyone uh, has some feedback on those um, additional option strategies we can use to generate income, again, low risk that can be executed in a retirement account. Um, I am asking around. So if anyone has uh, further feedback in those regards, love to hear it. Again, put it in the comments to this video. Contact us in our Discord. Again, our Discord is free to join. Uh, all the additional channels, with the exception of a few that I mentioned that are exclusive to our Patreons, are uh, available in our free Discord. Again, we have a whole channel on options, ETFs, Forex, futures, bonds, etc. So in different trading styles. So you can discuss, hang out with other traders, uh, other beach bump traders in whatever trading style or trading whatever uh, asset classes you like. A lot of people uh, start out just chit chat in the beach party uh, channel. So you can see that as well. And again, our Discord's free to join. 
and we would love to have you join us and actively participate uh, in our Discord. You can find a invite to our free Discord in the description box below. Also on our Beach Bum Trading homepage, which is beachbumtrading.com, bum without the U. And again, in the link section, you can find an invite to our Discord, as well as links to all our social media sites. So again, you can contact us if you'd like us to look at any dividend payers, any particular due, due diligence on a stock, uh, look at it, doing research on a uh, put, etc. So just let us know. Also, again, we'd love your feedback on how we can improve our weekly trading game plan videos or any of our videos or any of our tools, our Google Sheets, etc., our automated systems, you know, our community. Uh, how can we improve uh, any of this to add more value for all of our beach bum traders? So, again, we'd love your feedback. Uh, we really need uh, to hear from our beach bum traders as to what, what would you like to see more of, less of, etc so i've got a few minutes if anyone in the chat would like to talk about a particular stock or do quick due diligence on a particular stock or if you have another topic you'd like to discuss uh, briefly we can uh, do that i'll check back through the chat briefly and see if i missed anything Okay, if I missed um, your stock, again, please put it in the comments. Uh, if you'd like to look at, have me look at a stock in advance of a weekly trading game plan live stream, it'd be great if you'd let me know uh, via our Discord or, again, via our social media. You can contact us in our Discord. We're Beach Bump Trading, all lowercase, no other characters, no other uh, numbers looks like I've got um, one more imposter to get rid of now so uh, please let us know if you'd like us to take a look at a stock um, in advance so we can then cover it in um, our ne next week's uh, weekly trading game plan so otherwise again I appreciate everyone in the live chat hanging out with us for Easter and I hope you have a wonderful Easter great trading week so good luck and have a great trading week and we will see you later.